Hello and welcome to English for Arabs channel. English for Arabs is English for all. Unit 10 The film story What's your sport? People at Flushing Meadows Park in New York talk about their favorite sports to play and watch. Hi there, I'm Lisa Kim. Welcome to Flushing Meadows Park in Queens, New York. We're here to talk to people about sports. <laughs> On weekends, these soccer fields are crowded. There are soccer teams for kids and for adults. This is Omar. He plays soccer at Flushing Meadows. Hi, Omar. Hello. So you're playing soccer today. Who are you playing with? With other friends from my country. We have a team. How often do you practice? On Saturdays and Sundays. We start at 10 in the morning. Soccer is hard, but it's not all hard work. Sport. On weekends, these soccer fields are crowded. On weekends, these soccer fields are crowded. There are soccer teams for kids and for adults. There are soccer teams for kids and adults. He plays soccer. He plays soccer. Who are you playing with? Who are you playing with? We have a team. With a team. How often do you practice? How often do you practice? Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays. We start at 10 in the morning. We start at 10 in the morning. We start at 10 in the morning. Soccer is hard. Soccer is hard. There's so much to do here. There are baseball fields, basketball courts, handball courts, and even a cricket field. So, Ian, you play cricket. What exactly is that? That's a good question. Well, it's a team sport. You play it with a ball and bat. There are 11 people on each team. The team with the most runs wins. So, it's kind of like baseball. Yes, it's similar. Cricket is not very well known in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Where in the world do people play cricket? Well, it's popular in Australia, India, South Africa, and England. That's our home. And of course, I can play cricket here at Flushing Meadows. It's great. What sports do you like, Diane? Oh, I love tennis. Do you play tennis here at Flushing Meadows? Oh, no, I don't play tennis. I watch it. Right over there. This is the National Tennis Center home to the U.S. Open. The U.S. Open is an internationally famous tennis tournament. People come from all over the world to watch tennis matches here. But you can play tennis, and you can take tennis lessons here too. There is so much to do here. There is so much to do here. There is so much to do here. Basketball courts. Basketball courts. Handball court. Handball court. Handball court. You play cricket. 
You play cricket? What exactly? What exactly is that? What exactly is that? What exactly is that? What a T D soft D. What a what exactly? Exactly. I can make here the T silent between two consonants between C and L. T silent. I can say exactly and exactly. Some Americans say exactly. Other American say exactly. What exactly is that? That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. It's a team sport. It's a team sport. It's a team sport. You play it with a ball. You play it with a ball. There are 11 people on each team. There are 11 people in each team. It's similar. It's similar. It's popular in Australia. It's popular in Australia. That's our home. That's our home. It's great. It's a great. It's a great. What is sports do you like, Diane? What is sports do you like, Diane? What is sports do you like, Diane? I love tennis. I love tennis. Famous tennis tournament. Famous tennis tournament. Famous tennis tournament. People come from all over the world. People come from all over the world. People come from all over the world. You can play tennis. You can play tennis. You can take tennis lessons. You can take tennis lessons. What sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, mm -hmm. but I really like golf. Golf? Can you play golf here too? Yes, you can. It's mini golf. <laughs> My husband takes our kids to the playground, and I can relax. Nice. Can you play golf here too? Can you play golf here too? It's mini golf. It's mini golf. I can relax. I can relax. I can relax. My husband takes our kids to the playground. My husband takes our kids to the playground. Flushing Meadows has something for everyone and you don't need to play sports to enjoy the park. You can also just take it easy. There are many beautiful places to walk in the park, like this. Best of all, you can get to Flushing Meadows easily on the subway from Manhattan. The number seven train takes you right to the park. 
but where do you get off the train? Just look for the Unisphere. This giant globe tells you that you're in Flushing Meadows. Pretty great, huh? Flushing Meadows welcomes people from all around the world to play sports, watch sports, or just enjoy a day in this beautiful park. Why don't you come for a visit too? Ready? On three. One, two, three. You can also just take it easy. You can also just take it easy. You can also just take it easy. There are many beautiful places to walk in the park. There are many beautiful places to walk in the park. You can get easily. You can get easily on the subway. You can get easily on the subway. You can get easily on the subway. Where do you get off the train? Where do you get off the train? Where do you get off the train? This globe. This globe. Pretty great. Pretty great. T sub D. Pretty great. Enjoy a day in this beautiful park. Enjoy a day in this beautiful park. Enjoy a day in this beautiful park. Hi there, I'm Lisa Kim. Welcome to Flushing Meadows Park in Queens, New York. We're here to talk to people about sports. <laughs> On weekends, these soccer fields are crowded. There are soccer teams for kids and for adults. This is Omar. He plays soccer at Flushing Meadows. Hi, Omar. Hello. So you're playing soccer today. Who are you playing with? With other friends from my country. We have a team. How often do you practice? On Saturdays and Sundays. We start at 10 in the morning. Soccer is hard, but it's not all hard work. There's so much to do here. There are baseball fields, basketball courts, handball courts, and even a cricket field. So, Ian, you play cricket. Mm -hmm. What exactly is that? That's a good question. Well, it's a team sport. You play it with a ball and bat. There are 11 people on each team. The team with the most runs wins. So, it's kind of like baseball. Yes, it's similar. Cricket is not very well known in the US. Mm -hmm. Where in the world do people play cricket? Well, it's popular in Australia, India, South Africa and England, that's our home. And of course I can play cricket here at Flushing Meadows. It's great. What sports do you like, Diane? Oh, I love tennis. Do you play tennis here at Flushing Meadows? Oh no, I don't play tennis. I watch it. Right over there. This is the National Tennis Center, home to the U.S. Open. The U.S. Open is an internationally famous tennis tournament. People come from all over the world to watch tennis matches here. But you can play tennis, and you can take tennis lessons here too. What sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, mm -hmm. but I really like golf. Golf? Can you play golf here too? Yes, you can. It's mini golf. Oh. <laughs> My husband takes our kids to the playground, and I can relax. Flushing Meadows has something for everyone, and you don't need to play sports to enjoy the park. You can also just take it easy. There are many beautiful places to walk in the park, like this. Best of all, you can get to Flushing Meadows easily on the subway from Manhattan. The number seven train takes you right to the park. But where do you get off the train? Just look for the Unisphere. This giant globe tells you that you're in Flushing Meadows. Pretty great, huh? Flushing Meadows welcomes people from all around the world to play sports, watch sports, or just enjoy a day in this beautiful park. 
Why don't you come for a visit too? Ready? On three. One, two, three. شكرا للمشاهدة. Hope you like it, share it, and subscribe. يرجى الاشتراك على القناة الآن. Thanks for watching. شكرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.